So people ask me quite a bit how far I think George is along on The Winds of Winter and how on earth it could be taking so long. Notably, people look to his blog posts where he hints that he's close to being finished and then years and years go by with no wins. Is George R. R. Martin a liar? Has he been destroying pages? Is he secretly finishing A Dream of Spring? And so I'd like to go through the timeline of things and explain what happened and why the fandom got their hopes up. So let's start out in July of 2011. This is when A Dance with Dragons was published and where people measure how much progress George has made. It's been roughly 11 years since Dance, so where is Winds? So background here, The Winds of Winter will be likely 1,500 manuscript pages or 75 chapters, which is roughly the length of A Storm of Swords or A Dance with Dragons. That means each chapter is about 20 manuscript pages. And it's important to note that A Dance with Dragons had additional material that was cut for length. And this is essential to note. When George R. R. Martin reports his progress, he includes cut material. We actually have evidence of this in a July 2010 blog post. He reports that Aaron Dampere was cut from Dance, that is, the Forsaken chapter, along with 100 manuscript pages. That is, roughly five chapters. And he speaks of this as progress on wins. So Dance has gotten a smidge shorter, but is still not done. The good news is, I seem to have written more than 100 pages of The Winds of Winter already. Now, here's the thing. We know that by the time A Dance with Dragons is published, he has more than just five chapters cut. He has at least 11 that we know about. Arion 1, Arion 2, Elaine, Mercy, Theon, Victarion, Tyrion 1, Tyrion 2, Barristan 1, Barristan 2, and a Bran chapter. Now, those Tyrion, Arion, and Barristan chapters are a little on the short side, but we are looking at about 200 fully completed manuscript pages that were cut from A Dance with Dragons. And if George R. R. Martin has 200 fully complete manuscript pages, we can expect that he has some rough stuff left over too. So this is our starting point with The Winds of Winter. 200 fully completed pages and some rough stuff. How much rough, we don't know, but the pessimist in me says 175 pages. And we will get back to why I think this. So after Dance is published, George flat out tells Entertainment Weekly that he's not writing anything until January of 2012. So we know there's no progress for six months. Then, six months later, he speaks with the Spanish Rolling Stone and tells them that he has 200 pages done in June. And then tells Adria's News in October that he has 200 pages done and 200 rough pages. Now again, he started with 200 done pages and likely had some rough stuff. So it may be possible that he wrote some rough stuff in 2012, but it's also possible that he didn't write anything and he's only talking about leftover material. Now, we know that those rough pages, at least 168 of them, are submitted to his editor in February of 2013. So yeah, maybe he wrote those in 2012, maybe he didn't. He at least made the rough stuff tighter, though I've seen George R. R. Martin's unedited work and it's near perfect already. Anyway, in April of 2013, at the season three premiere, he reports that Wins is about a quarter of the way done. It's gonna take me a while, but uh, I hope to be finished more quickly than the last couple books. <laughs> well, proportionally, how many pages into book six are you? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I haven't really counted. I, I Maybe I'm about a quarter of the way done or something like that. Yeah. Well, that's, that's pretty good progress. Yeah, that's not bad. Now, let's do some math. One quarter of 1,500 is 375. That's the 200 cut pages from Dance and the 175 rough pages that were cleaned up and submitted to his editors. Again, maybe those 175 were written in 2012, but we have no actual proof that George R. R. Martin has done any significant writing at this point in nearly two years. And yet when the fandom heard that the book was a quarter of the way done at year one or at year two, they got in their heads that the book was being worked on. At this rate, 2015, 2016, 2017. But there was no at this rate. The rate was near zero. George R. R. Martin was talking about leftover material. Now George R. R. Martin goes rather silent on progress after this, 2013 comes and goes, though The Princess and the Queen is published in this year. The Rogue Prince is then published in 2014, as is The World of Ice and Fire, which George worked on as well. Sons of the Dragon was also written in this period as he reads it at a convention in 2014, but we hear nothing significant on the progress of wins. So then 2015 comes. The World of Ice and Fire is done, his three histories of The Princess and the Queen, The Rogue Prince, and Sons of the Dragon are written, he has nothing to distract him. However, George later reports that this was a very bad year. In April 2015, he appears on John Oliver while writing a chapter. Hey, everyone, wouldn't it be...
be great if we had a Skype interview with George R. R. Martin, the writer of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Uh, hey, George. George, how, how's the writing going? I just killed three of your favorite characters. What? <laughs> it's not Arya. Uh, it's not Arya, is it? George, it's not Arya. Please tell me it's not Arya. Just give me a clue, damn you, Martin! However, fan examination of the scene found that it was an Asha chapter, the very beginning of an Asha chapter at the Battle of Ice. That is, about two paragraphs after the Theon sample chapter ends. It is quite the signal to where George R. R. Martin is at this point. In May of 2015, he talks to his publisher and thinks he can finish Wins by the end of October 2015. That way Wins can be published with the premiere of the next Game of Thrones season the following spring. Then in early August, he realizes that's not going to happen, and so he gets a second deadline of finishing by the end of December of 2015. Now many people are baffled by the year of 2015. He was just months away. He didn't have any other writing distractions and was telling his publisher that he could finish. What happened? Where's wins? Well, let's step back and note that the time between May to October 31st and early August to December 31st is rather similar. It's roughly five or five and a half months. He got a second deadline with pretty much the same amount of time, so it sounds like there was little to no progress in 2015. At least none between May and August. But still, many people ask, five months? How is it that he thought he could finish in five months? Well, let's break down five months. That's 150 days. He has, at worst, about 1,100 manuscript pages to go. He perhaps thought that he could do around seven or eight pages a day, or 2,100 words. For a professional, experienced writer, that's certainly possible, though extremely ambitious. Some writers average far more, some far less. Stephen King says he does about 2,000 words every single day. So, was it delusional for George to think that he could finish in five months? Yeah, probably. He's currently averaging about 100 words a day. But that's the explanation for 2015. He thought he could write a book in five months. It doesn't mean he was close to finishing wins. We know he wasn't. And again, it's important to note that we do not have any definitive evidence that much, if any, progress has been made at this point. In 2016, everything can still be attributed to Dan's leftovers. In 2016, he said he had hundreds of pages, but he started with hundreds of pages. He says he has dozens of chapters, but that could be literally 24 chapters or 480 manuscript pages. Okay, I suppose that's some progress, but it's as few as 100 pages in five years. So after this big update on the progress of wins in January of 2016, there's a change. Fire and Blood, which George R. R. Martin had said would be published after The Winds of Winter, gets moved to before. His publishers clearly wanted something, anything, to publish while Game of Thrones was on the air. Now, Fire and Blood Volume 1 was a thousand manuscript pages, but it was halfway complete. The first part of Aegon the Conqueror was done for The World of Ice and Fire. Sons of the Dragon, The Rogue Prince, and The Princess and the Queen were already written back between 2012 and 2014. He just needed to fill in about 400 to 500 manuscript pages for the later Aegon Reign and the Reign of Jaehaerys, which were already outlined for The World of Ice and Fire. Still, the manuscript pages needed for Fire and Blood were nothing to sneeze at. 400 to 500 pages. Which means he was much closer to finishing that book than The Winds of Winter. So no, back in 2016 and 2017, he was nowhere close to being done with wins. Half of Fire and Blood was an easier task. Now, 2017 was also a time filled with spin-off pitches, which took much of George R. R. Martin's time, and he was perhaps more focused on Fire and Blood. In 2018, Fire and Blood was published. In mid-2019, Game of Thrones ended. I can understand someone not wanting to write until they see how the show turned out. The rest of the year comes and goes. But then something happens in early 2020. Bad for the world and the millions who died, but it happened to be good for the winds of winter. And that was COVID. George R. R. Martin wasn't going anywhere. Trapped inside, unable to travel, George R. R. Martin decided to write. George R. R. Martin declared that 2020 was his best year writing for the winds of winter yet, with hundreds and hundreds of pages. Now taken literally, that's 400 pages, which would put him at about 900 manuscript pages, which is about two-thirds of the way. Then in 2021, he announced that he didn't progress as well as he did in 2020, but did some, and here we are in 2022, where he announced that Winds is going to likely be longer than Storm and Dance. 
so maybe 1600 manuscript pages? Who knows, and he just finished some Circe chapters which were giving him fits. In the past he had trouble with chapters that cross over with other points of view. The only point of view near Circe is John Con, who would be marching on King's Landing after his conquest of Storm's End. Meanwhile, Circe would be dealing with this march after her trial, so maybe her third or fourth point of view chapter, which one could expect at around the two-thirds point of the book. Based on Feast, Circe is looking like a person who would have many chapters. She is in King's Landing and she's the perspective there, but she can't have too many chapters as there's so many point of views to deal with in The Winds of Winter. I could very well expect five or six Circe point of views in The Winds of Winter, but this is speculation. So in summary, what happened? Well, at the end of the day, I just don't think George R. Martin did much writing on The Winds of Winter outside of COVID. He had about a quarter of wins left over from Dance, and then he got distracted. There was Game of Thrones, spin-offs, and all of his other projects. He wrote stuff that would be The World of Ice and Fire and Fire and Blood, but this was mainly to keep his publisher off his back. Once Game of Thrones finished and COVID hit, I think he wrote quite a bit. But outside of this, I think he was absolutely creeping along. The distractions have an enormous impact on George R. Martin's progress on wins. All in all, I think he's two-thirds the way done with the book. Far enough along to declare that his COVID time was super productive, but far enough away to not give any ballpark estimate on when he might be finished. And far enough away to be anxious and angry about it. That's why I say two-thirds the way, 500 manuscript pages to go. With many, many distractions on the horizon. Anyway, I hope this explanation was interesting and not too depressing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.